Hey everybody, it's Starla Shay with Girl Style Over and I'm here at Walgreens as you can see and I'm going to be teaching you guys today how to pick a foundation, what drugstore products are the best for you to use and what you can get when you're trying to do your beginner's makeup. So y'all stay tuned. My face got a little foundation on y'all because I've been trying stuff on. You're going to see it in the video. But what's up y'all? So let's go on this journey. Yes y'all, my wig look crazy right now because we was at the hospital or whatever and I wasn't trying to look all that cute. You feel me? Girl, start over though, baby. Girl, start over. All right. So when I say concealer um, and I say I use Rimmel Matte Concealer, this is the concealer that I use. So these ones, this concealer, you cannot open. The reason I like this is the shade that I use. Oh, no, no, no. 512 is the shade that I use, but they don't have it. It's just 432 and 410. So this is the shade 512 that I use that matches very closely to my skin. And then anything between 410 and 432 would be something I use as a highlighter. But you can pick your concealer based on if you're trying to have like a highlighted look. Like if you brown like me, if you want a highlighted look, honestly, you could go probably for like this shade right here or really giving a, um, a bronze color right here. They are lighter, but they're not too light. And then they also have foundation. Now, I have yet to use their foundation, but their foundation shades really don't match my skin. And they don't have a lot of colors. So they only have about these colors right here. 504 and I believe 502 was too dark for me. Um, they have 501. And so basically, I'll show you guys how this store. Okay, so it comes out like this. You don't pick based on your hand, you pick it based on your face. So this was shade 501, and you see how like gray that looks. I obviously wouldn't buy this color, but that's how. So I wouldn't recommend their foundation unless like you're really one of these colors. But if you're not, I probably wouldn't wear the foundation, but their foundation, you know, it is matte and it's probably still good, but I just would definitely recommend the concealer. All right, so the goal when you're picking a foundation shade, you want a shade that really blends in with your skin. So there may be some shades, like you don't wanna be too light, but you don't wanna be too dark. Um, but if you cannot find a shade that's like literally, um, like you don't want anything too light. So if you don't find anything like exactly your skin color, don't get it. Better to get a darker shade and then get concealer that's like lighter than your skin tone so you can have like that highlighted contour effect versus getting something too light because you don't want to look dead. Like baby, you're not going to a funeral. You're just doing your makeup. All right, so here is Wet n Wild. I love Wet n Wild for the cheap. Like you see that palettes 329 neutral colors like i love these palettes so if i was going to recommend anything to anybody like getting a palette like this with very neutral colors for a beginner's look like that's going to be super good they have this they have a variety of colors for that i absolutely love their matte uh, liquid lipstick and their lip gloss really all the shades are popping um i have used their bronzer i do like their bronzer so if you're going to use bronzer and you're like my color you probably need like the darkest bronzer because when i got a lighter one it was too light i think a highlighting power um powder contour but i don't like their contour i don't like cream contour let me not say theirs but they also have incognito which is some super bomb full coverage concealer so they don't look like they would have like my shade, but like this would, it looks a little white on the camera, but not so in real life. I might have to like use something like this or like this shade, but they don't have it. So they have face primer, finishing powder, and then they also have foundation. I didn't really like their foundation. I'm not gonna lie to anybody. Um, their foundation was like super wet to me and they also did not have the color of my skin because as you can see like it's super limited but if you're like a light skinned person or like lighter than me you know you might find good success with all right so if you don't like matte makeup and you like that dewy you know certain type of stuff elf and wet and wild are going to be good products good brands for you all right so here's elf they have brushes i'm not against their brushes but everybody should know by now i love real technique brushes their brushes are bomb and the closest to like some real makeup artist quality but they have blending brushes or beauty blenders i'm sorry beauty blenders blending brushes 
um like foundation brushes these are the kind of brushes you would use like when you're putting on like the foundation on your face so they have primer all right so look they got hydrating primer um mineral infused so as you can see they're not really like matte people these are people to help your skin like kind of be dewy they got the camo cream and here is their foundation once again luminous dewy finish i hate it I hate it so bad but they will probably have like shades closer for my skin type and then they have elf camo concealer so a variety of shades this concealer to be honest is super oily i don't like it for real um because i like matte makeup but it it's still good it's just i don't like it for real because i don't like that kind of makeup so here are elf makeup and see they only have like this matte magic mist and set but most of it misty so as you can see there are so many brands and you don't have to try every single brand um how i got into picking certain brands is because when i used to watch makeup tutorials these were the brands that the girls used some of them i kind of just like winged on my own but i did used to like try different things like when i was doing makeup and i did find out what i liked and what i didn't like so you don't have to use these products it's just kind of just how i pick though and this is how i choose so i never really used revlon but i did use cover girl before at one point in time they did have some type of concealer that i did like but i don't really like see that right now but they look like they um improved their products and stuff like if i was going to try anything true blend undercover concealer but it's full coverage so you can always make educated choices based on the type of makeup that you want so you can always look at the products and be like oh do i want matte makeup or do i want dewy like and then you can kind of decide on which brand you want to work with all right so now we add Maybelline, 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 Maybelline. Okay, Maybelline got right here and right here. So y'all, this is the foundation I swear by. When I used to wear this foundation, it was like $6. Hello, it went to 10. But this is the one Maybelline Fit Me, Dewy, and Smooth. Now I will say this, they actually do can kind of act matte, but it's not super, super oily. But this right here, they was far. They, they was getting it right. But they have matte poreless this is this is the one i used to use bro i think i used to use shade 350 but bro this this right here fa you need to get this i love all the shades they have as well they have so many shades but like makeup artists if you go watch any makeup artist video on youtube like they're using maybelline fit me if they're talking about some beginners products or something like that so they have primer they have loose powder you feel me which in another word you can use it for like see finishing powder but you kind of use it like banana powder but they have some like for darker skin shades like myself they have blush um they have eyebrow um gel which they call it eyebrow tattoo but it's really like eyebrow gel um look at this they have correcting concealer i mean they have eyebrow pencils they have um, mascara, but if you are going to use anything from Maybelline Fit Me, you're going to want to use this. All right, so how do you pick your shade? So always start with the darker shade, like go to the darkest shade that's close to your skin and be like, okay, this is super dark, so don't use that one. So for me, like I already know, 350 was one I will wear, but I'm just gonna wear uh, try 315 like for the sake of the video. So too much came out entirely too much, and that is so bad. But we're just gonna try it for the sake of the video. So because I want people to see. So you see, this is 315. Now it looks a little white. So what does that mean? I would not get that shade. So if that's what's 315. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is go down. All right, so if that was 315 and I need a darker shade, the next step would be 330, which is looks like toffee, and 355, which would be coconut. So my next step would be going two shades darker or a third shade darker. But we know this one is entirely too dark for me. All right, so the next product they also have is Super Stay. So this is skin tint, which is like a little lighter than foundation. Um, I use skin tint pretty much for the tinted foundation for um, contouring. 
but this is what I love using right here. This super stay is super good. So I believe I use, um, I think, believe they have 350, but I don't see 350. They only got 340 and 355 right here. But that was how I picked those shades. 355 can be like orangey a little bit on me, but 350 was kind of like just, just right. But when I didn't have contour, it made it look right. So look at this. So this shade is too dark, but this would kind of like be closer to my skin tone so i always go up like one two three or i will always go up two just so when it comes to your makeup it just really basically pretty much depends on what you want and what you like my kids are in the store with me and oh my gosh it's 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 giving we need to go home so all right guys so we're gonna try on one more brand um because everything in here like isn't open for us to try it on but i do see milani we're able to try on so we're gonna try milani. all right so step one always find the shade that's like darker than your skin tone so i would say this is way too dark for me so either i would be amber or i would be chestnut which would be 11 or 13. so i'm just gonna go ahead and try 13 for the sake of everything so we're just gonna check out this color i want to get it out the light so you guys can see it so this is how it looks and then okay try. so the reason i usually try um my face instead of my hand is because my hand is already dark like my hand and my face are obviously not the same colors so all right we're gonna put a, um i believe i'll put 13. now this is how 13 looks 13 is not bad but it's a little dark so we're gonna try shade 11 which is like one shade literally one shade literally lighter and you can even see it like when it's on my hand so we're gonna try that one over here All right, so if it come down to buying, I'm gonna get shade 11. You can see like this one here is a little too dark, but I could get shade 11 because this one matches more closely with my skin tone. All right, so that was how I picked that shade. And this is Milani 2 in 1 con um, foundation and concealer. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I probably would try this um, only because it doesn't feel like super oily and super dewy. It doesn't say that it's matte. So if we like take a look at it, it doesn't say that it's matte, but I do like this a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. I definitely do like it. I don't hate it. I don't know if I like it better than Maybelline, but I do like it. It feels lightweight. So like, for example, how I just tried this makeup, you can try like any type of makeup based on something that you're looking for. Cause I think about if something is foundation and concealer, it shouldn't be super oily. It shouldn't be super liquidy. It should be something. All right, so when you're doing beginner's makeup, it's only a few things that you need because you don't need like a whole whole bunch especially if you haven't done makeup before like don't be the overachiever like i gotta do my lashes i gotta do my brow like i gotta do it all because you definitely don't have to do every single thing but the number one thing that you do need is foundation so i actually would probably recommend this milani because it has foundation and concealer in it and so if it's giving you that clean and full look that could eliminate some products but you're also going to need an eyebrow pencil now another eyebrow pencil that i actually did like was from elf Cosmetics. so i have used this brow obsessive which was pretty good but i also did have an eyebrow pencil from elf cosmetics that i did really like but unfortunately i can't find it so elf i'm sorry wet and wild has this retractable brow pencil which i would recommend using um it's probably going to give you like the type of look that you're looking for so i do like that eyebrow pencil as well what you're going to need is some lip gloss and some lip liner so, all right so if you wanted like a nude lip so you can get like these kinds of colors from like wet and wild and you can get like a liquid matte lipstick to outline like your lips with and i'll probably like use like this kind of color or like a darker brown as color. far as products 
if you wanted to get beauty blenders i would recommend getting these elf beauty blenders they're just going to be cheaper off the rip um you can get you some elf brushes as well um i do recommend kind of like priming your face with something but you also really can just use like toner or um rose water any of those types of things i never used any of these before however you can use it based on your skin type so if you feel comfortable with trying like any of these types of products i would definitely recommend something to prep your skin with i use baby skin by maybelline for an eyeshadow palette i would recommend this wet and wild eyeshadow palette right here it has black brown all the pretty much basic colors that you would need in an eyeshadow palette and it wouldn't be super hard when you are brushing on or blending eyebrow uh, or eyeshadow i'm sorry you're going to want to use like these types of brushes so they can be like kind of lightly done now for actual brushes that are the best real techniques they cost about 22 dollars, but y'all i'm telling you real techniques is the bomb this even looks really good too eco tools i never use them but they look good but i really like real techniques they really give a really good really good feel want to make sure you got you an eyebrow pencil make sure you got you some foundation um you can make sure that you have concealer if you don't get a two in one um you are going to want to make sure that you also get you some lip gloss and lip liner make sure you have beauty blenders and eyebrow pencils and then we're going to talk about the final touches and the final piece which would technically be lashes all right so these are the kind of lashes they have at walgreens and so in all honesty it really just depends on what you want to wear and what you want your lashes to look like i like these i, I like kiss kiss is pretty good so they have these kind of lashes if you are looking for something that is more of a natural look that i would recommend like probably getting these ones or even some very similar to these now it may look a little dramatic right now but you want something like this more natural would i pay 20 dollars for this no do not buy these lashes for 20 dollars. i mean it's good though because it has four um four lashes but they're really not going to be reusable because they're from the store so i just wanted to put y'all on the free game but i would recommend like even getting some of these like these look really cute and so this could be things that you get for your first makeup look and guys here this is do a quick set here we go right here this is the lash glue that i actually literally recommend because this stuff actually literally works fast and it's good so i hope this video was helpful for you guys let me know if you guys learned anything let me know if you're going to come to walgreens or to cvs let me know what you guys are going to try what you guys are going to use i'm definitely going to try this milani next though oh look at this revolution look at this look at this skin tint skin tint moisturizer oh this little far i like that yeah we got some new stuff to try y'all but let me know girlies in the comments below what's up stay tuned let me know what you use what you like using what type of skin you got because i didn't even get into the type of skin you got really depend on the product you should get too but that's just a little bit and y'all y'all know i don't use a whole bunch of products when i do my face because some of them people be using like 20 products on their face i use like less than 10 i don't use all that stuff so if you think i should use more let me know like what are you guys thinking what do you guys think but okay guys i will see you next week or later this week i don't know but bye